Last night, Springfield City Council approved a redevelopment for a large section of historic commercial street that covers 17 parcels of land. It will give the mostly empty buildings new life. But as Joe Hickman reports, there is still a lot that needs to be done before most of the project becomes a reality. Commercial Street is certainly a very special place that people like to go. The National Historic District known as Commercial Street has been around since 1870. And while the six block area has undergone a major revitalization over the years, there's still pockets of empty buildings like the Missouri Hotel. Built in 1927, that has been everything from a luxury hotel to a homeless shelter run by the kitchen. Other ornate buildings on that same block are also empty. But developer Titus Williams has gotten the go-ahead from the city council now to move forward on a project that includes four phases. The Missouri Hotel phase is intended to be redeveloped into a boutique hotel. The Missouri Hotel and those buildings around it at the top left of your screen are part of future phases, including another property at the top right to be converted for commercial and residential mixed use. And Pacific North will become a multifamily residential and mixed use development. The only phase that's in the immediate future is Pacific South. It's going to be 72 townhouses with approximately $15 million of investments. Currently, it's the home of a closed funeral home and a medical building that also served as the kitchen's former offices. The Pacific South location is also the only part of the project that's been approved for tax abatements. And as for all the other future phases... There will be further analysis and review of each of those projects by city council or other boards and commissions of the city of Springfield before any development could proceed. There's no question that um, the potential for a quality of place type of project. Council member Monica Horton, whose zone includes Commercial Street, is supportive of what the project is attempting to do, but voted against the approval of the overall plan. But with the future project still kind of being up in the air and more questions than there are answers, we should handle this in such a way where the future phases are separated out and decoupled. It could be a dozen amendments by the time we're done with this rather than them being their own separate redevelopment plans. But yet another chapter in the revitalization of C Street is in the works. Reporting for KY3, I'm Joe Hickman.